Then it was off to Cusco, Peru, to complete the Inca Trail. I started with an injured ankle from volunteering in the Galapagos. Luckily, the first day was easy and the weather was great as we made our way to our first campsite, stopping for lunch on the way. We were lucky enough to be part of a small group, just four people, myself, James and two English girls. With five porters, a chef and two guides, we were badly outnumbered by staff. There were many stunning Inca ruins along the way and spectacular mountain scenes. We carried most of our own gear, including the mattress and sleeping bag, before camping nestled in the mountains with clear starry skies. The climb up Dead Woman Pass was the toughest, and we all felt the elevation and altitude. We celebrated reaching the summit. More Inca sites awaited as we closed in on Machu Picchu. Hot lunches and dinners were cooked for us on the road, all carried by our porters who would fly past us on the route. We met some llamas who weren't too shy. We set off at 3 a.m. on the final day to reach the sun gate in the pitch black. Unfortunately, visibility was awful and we missed those famous views of Machu Picchu. Just as we were thinking of giving up, the fog finally lifted and we saw those epic views of Machu Picchu in all its glory. We ran all the way down, racing a bus to Aguas Calientes. We celebrated and watched England go ahead against Croatia. Not sure how the game ended. <laughs> 